Hey guys, welcome back. Right now it's Act 6, and we're in the Colonel's room, and his wheelchair's by itself, and the Colonel's nowhere to be found. If we hadn't known that the Colonel could walk, this would be really, really weird, but I guess it's not all that surprising to us right now. Let's see. Oh, there's the sound. I thought the sound wasn't working. Okay, great. Well, um, since... Act 6 actually is probably the shortest act in the entire game, so I'm gonna goof off a little bit and die a few times here. Let's see if I can die four times in a minute, okay? Right, uh, this, this area above the stairs and right below the stairs is a really dangerous area in this house, because, um, well for one thing, see these railings? Walk up to one. Watch out! Oh no. Yeah, we'll die. Just by walking against the railings. It's not a pretty sight. Oh, forgot. I was... I should have saved over there. Let's do it now. Yeah, so that's way number one. Here's way number two. See this door? Or, I guess I can't right click on it. Look at door. You notice a closet at the top of the stairs. Yeah, we've never actually gone in this door, but what happens if you do? Oh no! We get grabbed. That's what you get for being such a snoop, Laura. Yeah. So just basically don't ever bother going in that door. There's nothing important in there, and you'll just die. <laughs> Alright, so down here, there are two more ways to die. Here's one way. Um, I don't know if you noticed or not, but every time I've gone down here, I've always been walking, like, right here, or right here, and never in the center. You know why? Because... You get crushed by the chandelier. It will take a while to get the splinters out. I, I don't know if it just randomly falls or if somebody decides to cut it and kill you that way. It's a, <laughs> it's a really weird death. Alright, now the suit of armor. Look armor. Yeah, see that battle axe? Get axe. The battle axe is firmly attached to the armor. Okay, well, um, let's let's oil the arm. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Got a splitting headache, Laura? Yeah. This house is a freaking death trap. But um anyways, let's let's move on cuz yeah, I had enough of dying. So, let's go back up to the attic. Go up. I wish I could just go up while I'm in the colonel's room, but I never see the attic appear up here. I'm sure it's possible, but I just... I'm never lucky, I guess. Oh, right. I have to unlock the lever yet again, because somehow... I don't know, maybe the colonel has another key or something. A faint click is heard as you turn the key in the lock. Go up. And here we are again. So last time when we were here we read those newspapers and found out about the, the colonel being this great war hero. And we also went down here and there was a chest of the colonel's old clothes. And we found, um, let's see, what was it? We found a cape, a hat, some gloves, and a pair of boots with an eagle insignia on it. So let's look in the trunk again. Peering into the open trunk, you see old army clothing and various paraphernalia. This must be where the colonel keeps his old army gear. But notice we don't see any boots or capes or anything. So look cape. It isn't here gone. 
the gloves. Yeah, they're all gone. So someone took them out and is wearing them around, I guess. That's interesting. Now I have to unlock this door yet again. And um, let's go back into Fifi's room. <gasps> what is happening around here? You have discovered poor Fifi and Jeeves lying dead on the floor with their spilled drinks nearby. You don't like the looks of this at all. Really love this picture. Uh, first of all, because the drinks look really strange. It, I don't know. To me, maybe it's just me. Every time I see these, I keep thinking there's like blood coming out of the drinks, but it's it's not. It's just, you know, alcohol. Uh, Fifi doesn't even look like herself. And um, the other thing I find really interesting is their legs being like all, <laughs> I don't know what. Anyways go search their bodies. You thoroughly examine Jeeves and Fifi's body, but cannot see how they might have died. You are very puzzled. Hmm. Well, here's these drinks splattered right in front of us, so that might have something to do with it. Look, drink. It appears that Fifi and Jeeves were drinking cognac when they died. How sweet. They were having a date. Yeah, as you can see, there's, um, here are Jeeves' flowers that he had, uh, earlier in Act 5. A lovely bouquet of flowers lies on the table next to the cognac decanter. Can we take them now? It would be better to leave them alone. Drat. Okay, well, let's look at the decanter. A strange white powder has collected in the bottom of the cognac decanter. Uh-oh. Um, let's look at decanter with monocle, see if there's anything interesting. I'm right there. Let's do it. Okay. Bending over the cognac decanter, you carefully examine it with the monocle. Yes! Here are two clear fingerprints! Alright, well... Oh, let's see. Kiss Fifi, because I'm obsessive and I have to do this. Yuck! Kiss Jeeves. What an awful thought. Okay, no goodbye kisses for Fifi or Jeeves. Bye, Fifi. <laughs> Fifi. Bye. Bye, Jeeves. I hardly knew ye. Goodbye. I'll never see you again. Goodbye forever. Alright. Now let's go back to the bathroom. Because something important is in here. At first glance, you can't really see anything that has changed, but uh, if you remember the last time we were in here, there was a um, wastebasket, and when we, looked in the, when we looked inside, there was nothing in there. However, if we look in the wastebasket now, a small empty bottle has been thrown into the wastebasket. Wow, let's take it. After retrieving the small bottle from the wastebasket, you read its label. It says, Dr. Milliken's Miracle Sleep Powder. With Dr. Milliken's, you can be sure your dreams will be sweet tonight. Upon further inspection of the label, you notice some very small print at the bottom. Though you try to read the small print, you can't quite make it out. Giving up, you put the bottle back in the wastebasket. Don't give up, Laura. Look at the bottle with monocle. You read the small print of the sleeping powder bottle through the monocle. It says, can be fatal if taken in too large a dose. Uh-oh. And here it says, fatal. Well, I guess we know what was in Jeeves and Fifi's drink. Uh, yeah, so apparently someone poisoned them because I really don't think they'd be the kind to have, like, a lover's suicide. But, uh, anyways... Now I shall go to, right, our room. <laughs>